rod steady, the, uh, the tail wobbles a lot. Uh, it's, it's pretty thin steel. Um, I thought it would work better than it does. It, you know, it, 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 it's working, but it keeps turning it out of the breeze. Uh, kind of just consistently. It does accumulate a lot more power now that it's 35 feet in the air. It pretty much makes a steady, you know, 20 to 150 watts almost all the time. But it rarely goes over that and it kind of drives me nuts because I know it can do better. It's an 800 watt turbine. other people's rows, so I know it can do it. Um, yeah, can you see a wobble in there? And here's my little guy. And the camera effect makes it look like it's not spinning as fast as it is, but it's hauling. Like you can hear it whistling. That one's got the same design tail, but I used 16 gauge steel on that one. I used 22 on that, and that's why it flops around. This one at least has the excuse of this tree being in the way, so the, the wind rolls off of that and frills that one out. But currently, in this wind, the 500 is kicking my 800's butt. Um, and it's 10 feet lower, and it's a smaller turbine. But they both have the same size blades. They're 810 millimeter blades, um, which provides plenty of torque to spin this one up. It does not, however, provide the torque necessary to get rated power out of that one. So that's why I'm putting the larger blades back on and that's why that's getting a highly upgraded tail. But uh, let's go peek in the basement, see what they're doing. It's cold out here. And here we are. So, focus, come on. That is 500. That's zooming up pretty good. I got a peak of 257. There, she just went over 200 there. Here's the 800. It's the one that's wobbling. It's accumulating more power, which I know is more important, but it's not making very impressive wattage at all. See, that one's only peaked up to 229. them side by side. Five hundred. I wouldn't say it's exactly kicking its butt, but it's definitely spinning up faster. Here's the uh, combined output, and we just clicked over to 19 kilowatt hours. I reset that about two weeks ago, so we're making, you know, at least a 
kilowatt hour a day, which is cool. But I know they have the potential to make more. So I'll have to get the new tail up in the air and the bigger blades and we'll see what happens. Anyhow, get off your phones. It's Easter. Go eat some candy and some ham and enjoy your family. Stay safe. Happy Easter. Thanks for watching.